This is the city of Eisleben, where Martin Luther was born and where he died. But the Matthias on the left, uh, witnessing to some German folks there. The statue of Luther put up there in the time of Bismarck. And then there's some of the folks uh, going with us on the street preaching tour. And the right in the back you have the church where Luther preached and saying there in German, God over everything. There is uh, the crew, which is on the street preaching tour. And this is the birthplace of Martin Luther. Nico. He was born here in 1483 and died in this place in uh, for 1546. Uh, not in this house, but a different place. This is the place though where he was born in 1483. Now in uh, Luther's birthplace and it says here Martin uh, obviously eight brothers and sisters. One brother and three sisters survived to become adults. Even if Luther remembers having a very strict upbringing, he always thinks of his parents with love and respect. That's a typical German thing, you don't show love, but you know they love you. The conflict with his father about his entering in the monastery in 1505 is finally reconciled at his wedding in 1525. His father and mother are guests at the wedding. They also come again to Wittenberg on the occasion of the birth of their grandson Johannes in 1526. Luther and his wife Katharina van Boren have six children, of whom only three sons and one daughter reach adulthood. With his sons Jonas, Johannes, Martin, and Paul, accompanied the reformer on his last journey to Eisleben in January, February 1546. Relatives also belong to the ever grown family of the reformer. Four children of his sister Margaret have lived with Luther since 1529. Their three sons study in Wittenberg. The children of another sister who married the foundry, foundry master Klaus Polina also live in Wittenberg. Martin, the son of Luther's brother Jacob, arrives in the city in 1539. So here's the uh, Stammbaum, the family tree of uh, the Luthers. And it starts there with uh, Hans, Margarita Luther, Martin Luther, Katharina von Bora. And they had these six children there Johannes, Elizabeth, Magdalena, Martin, Margarita, and Paul. Jeder muss für sich selber Gott Rechenschaft abgeben. The Bible says, it is appointed unto man once to die. Es ist dem Menschen gesetzt, einmal zu sterben, danach aber das Gericht. But after this, the judgment. After sein Sterben, das Gericht. What will you do with your sin on the day of judgment? Was tust du mit deiner Sünde auf dem Tag des Gerichts? The Bible says that no sin shall enter into heaven. Die Bibel sagt, kein Sünder soll Eingang finden in den Himmel. 
And the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Die Bibel sagt, allen haben gesündigt und mangeln des Ruhmes, den sie an Gott haben sollten. So everyone has sinned, therefore everyone needs a Savior. Jeder Mensch hat gesündigt. Deswegen braucht jeder Mensch ein Heiland. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Jesus Christus hat gesagt, dass er in die Welt gekommen ist, um Sünder wie Sie und ich selig zu machen. For all have gone astray and turned everyone to his own way. Alle sind wie in die Irre gegangen und unseren eigenen Weg weg von Gott eingegangen. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Es gibt einen Weg, die recht scheint für einen Menschen. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Doch das Ende davon führt zum Tod. Thank you see. Martin Luther and his wife, the former name Katharina von Bora. This is what we call the Luther Stube. This is the place where Martin Luther <coughs> ate with his family. He used to heat up the room. This is where he was supposed to have his table talks. And where students also who partially lived with him, spent time with him, ate with him, including William Tyndale. What he says here about teaching there? This is Luther's idea. Where he says that the, uh, a hard work and a respectable schoolmaster can never be rewarded enough. Nonetheless, says Luther, this profession is held in such deep contempt these days. If I could or had to leave my preaching and all other things, I would want to have no other position than that of a schoolmaster or a boy's teacher. Because I know that after preaching, this is the most useful, the most important, and best profession. Oh, I'm glad to hear this, huh? This is the, uh, John Reifenstein, who used to stay at Luther's house for longer periods of time, was a broadly educated scholar and also gifted as an artist. The English translation of the text reads as follows, Living I was your menace, dying I will be your death, Pope. In the year of 1546, leaving his 63rd year behind, while entering his 64th year, he died. And though he may be dead, he lives. Germany. This is the one. This is man, the man. Martin Luther with his six co-workers who worked and make the 1534 first High German Bible, where the Reformation started, a new era started, uh, connected with um, freedom of uh, opinion and religion and gathering. This is the first complete Bible translation in the High German language done by Martin Luther and six other men in 1534. And this is what I call a little booklet called Anfester Book is Unser God, the early spinning. Of Martin Luther's 1527, written him and mighty 40 years of God, can be found in the first edition of Joseph Kluge's hymn book from 1529. Uh, a Frisian, Menno Simons from Wittmarsen, Friesland, who as a Roman Catholic priest saw a um, Bible believing Baptist burned at the stake in Leeuwarden, and through that he started studying the scriptures and came to the conviction that salvation is by faith alone, through grace alone, and he got baptized by immersion after he got saved. He became a very famous itinerant preacher, preacher, and he's the forefather of the Mennonites, the Anabaptists. There are some of the writings there, what are called the Anabaptists or the Baptists in these days. It's all material from the... This is the first printing press being used in the beginning of the 16th century. This is a copy of uh, where a lot of Martin Luther's material was printed. Here's a picture of the different sermon books produced by Martin Luther. And uh, 2000 about have survived. 
Mm. Every sermon Luther has been printed somewhere in Germany at some time. In the Wart book, Luther wrote in German the treatise on preaching, the Advent and Christmas commentary. And his commentaries influenced evangelical preaching for centuries. The pictures of Dr. Martin Luther, the great reformer, without which we would not have the liberties, the middle class and the prosperity, which we have now. Here's a little picture of him. And a plate with him and his wife, Katharina van Bora. Some other paintings of him. There are some other pictures which are not always that good. Kopfgraffen. There's a bust of Martin Luther. There's Martin Luther, the Dear the Worms, where he says, Before the Emperor and all the Cardinals on the right side, here I am, I cannot do otherwise. There's another painting of the 95 Thesis of Luther in 1517, where he started the Reformation. There's uh, Lucas Kranach, Martin Luther, and uh, Katharina van Bora, who is uh, here uh, asked by Martin Luther to marry him. And here is the uh, Martin Luther translating the Bible, and a devil trying to stop him, and he throws a uh, pot of ink toward the devil to chase him away. <coughs> and this is after the death of Martin Luther. The Roman Catholic papists came in there and they tried to open his grave. And the Duke of Alpha, which killed tens of thousands of Dutchmen, is right there behind the Emperor. And the Emperor says, well, we have to dishonor that body. But the Emperor Charles V says, no, I don't want to do that. I want to honor this man who didn't take up any arms. And look at the expression in the face of these papists who don't agree with the Emperor. But the Emperor knew that Martin Luther was not there to kill him, but just to preach the gospel and spread the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of heaven, by armed force, as the papists always want to do, and use the emperor for that. Here's what we have, what we call the lute, which is the instrument Luther learned to play and accompany him in the singing. The Church of Rome said that Luther probably did with through his singing and music more harm than through his doctrine in the Bible there. And that's not really true, but has a lot of truth in it, because true biblical music uh, came up after Martin Luther with Handel and Bach and the born again Christians, and it broke off the Gregorian chants of the Dark Middle Ages when Rome ruled the. Uh, here is the uh, room here where Martin Luther supposedly was born. And this is the typical stove which heated the whole house, the little crib where the babies were put in. And then we go in here. This is how uh, a lady count. This is the typical sleeping room of uh, a family where Luther was born in the 1500s. This is a picture of the deathbed of Martin Luther, surrounded by some of his friends, the count, and some of his sons. Jesus Christ died for your sin according to the scripture and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day all according to the scripture for the bible says that christ jesus came into the world to save sinners for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For there is none righteous, no, not one. Here we uh, are approaching the center of the of Frankish orphanages of the 1700s. Here is a statue of him 
commemorating him, and it says, August Hermann Franke, er vertraute God, he trusted God, with two little kids. And the one little boy has a Bible in his hand because this whole society was built upon the Luther Bible. Uh, and the Luther Bible is the foundation for the King James Bible. Uh, Tyndale came to Wittenberg for a year, studied there in 1525, translated Erasmus Greek with the help of uh, Luther's New Testament from 1522 into English. And this has been the foundation, the German Bible for Franke, a pietist Lutheran. And if you look around here, you see all these huge orphanages, and they are all built by faith. Um, and trust in God. And many of these kids were sent out as missionaries later. We declare unto you the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Liebe Bewohner von Halle, wir erklären und verkündigen euch die gute Nachricht von Jesus Christus. How that Jesus Christ died for your sin according to the scripture and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day all according to the scripture. Dass Jesus Christus für unsere Sünden gestorben ist und dass er begraben wurde und dass er am dritten Tag auferstanden ist nach den Schriften. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Die Bibel lehrt, dass Christus Jesus in die Welt gekommen ist, um Sünder zu retten. For the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Die Bibel lehrt, alle haben gesündigt und mangeln des Ruhmes, den sie bei Gott haben sollten. And the Bible says, for the wages of your sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Die Bibel lehrt, der Lohn der Sünde ist der Tod. Gnadengabe Gottes aber ist ewiges Leben in Christus Jesus, unserem Herrn. The Bible says, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by the Lord Jesus Christ. Es steht geschrieben, ich bin der Weg und die Wahrheit und das Leben. Niemand kommt zum Vater, denn durch mich. The Bible says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible lehrt, and alle haben gesündigt. Mangeln des Ruhmes, den sie bei Gott haben sollen und werden umsonst gerechtfertigt durch seine Gnade, durch die Erlösung, die in Christus Jesus geschehen ist. Salvation is of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rettung liegt nur bei dem Herrn Jesus Christus. The question today is where will you spend the choice is yours. Salvation 
is only through the blood of Jesus Christ. There is a view of the area here, <laughs> going through the gate of the Wadborg Castle. Thomas Luther's foot tread to translate the Erasmus Greek New Testament into German, which the same text which Tyndall used a few years later in Wittenberg to make his English translation. Published in 1525, later in Worms in 1526, the basis for the King James Bible, which is going all over the world. The tower here on the Wadborg with a cross on it. This is a picture of uh, John Huss at the Council of Constance, where he was asked to deny the uh, gospel observation of the grace of faith was nothing, and he doesn't do it. And as a result, here he's burned alive uh, by the Pope, uh, by the Roman Catholic Church, being a heretic. And here he's buried in his ashes, uh, so the ashes cannot be found back. And um, he was betrayed by the Pope because the Pope promised him to. Uh, give him a free going out and the Pope didn't keep his word as usual. And here are some coins uh, commemorating the death of Hus. And through that, the Hussite war started. And uh, Luther was heavily influenced later by the uh, John Hus in the Gospel. Hus picked up from Wycliffe for many writings from England. And here we have Martin Luther who burns the papal bull, which says he's put in ban and was about to be killed in public. And this way, put himself away from the authority of the canon law of the Pope, including the worldly law, which is in that time under the canon law of the Pope. Right now, in the European Union, they put the European or secular laws under the canon law of the Pope. You may be here today and say, look at those people over there. They're fools, they're holding banners, and they're preaching the Bible. You may look at me and say, you're a poor man. I look poor, but I got riches in heaven with my Savior. I, got, I have a lot to look forward to after I leave this earth. The Bible says the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. If you're going to live your life and only believe in the things seen, that is going to put you in hell. You're going to have to live a life of faith. That is what God has chosen. The Bible says in Romans 4, verse 5, But to him that worketh not, but believeth, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. God says that God diejenigen, die Gottlos sind, seine Gerechtigkeit zurechnet, durch den Herrn Jesus Christus, Glauben allein. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. Why are we here today? We are here to tell you that Jesus Christ can save your soul in a very simple prayer when you ask him to do it. The Bible says, today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Behold, today is the day of salvation. 
Ich muss sagen, bitte, wenn du seine Stimmen hörst, verhaltet nicht deinem Herzen. Heute ist der Tag der Seligkeit für jede von euch. God in heaven looks upon you today in your sin and says, come. Gott schaut dich nun von Himmel an und sagt, bitte komme mit deiner Sünde zu mir. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Liebe sagt auch, wenn deine Sünden rot sind wie Schalach, wenn sie weiß werden wie Schnee durch Jesus Christus. We, God knows your condition, but he also died to save you from it. Gott kennt deinen Zustand, aber er ist auch selber als Mensch gestorben, um dich davon zu erlösen. The Bible says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Bibel sagt, aus Gnade seid ihr selig worden, durch den Glauben, und dasselbe geht nicht aus euch. Gottes Gabe ist es. Nicht aus den Werken, auf das ich nicht jemand rühme. But the Bible says, if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Und die Bibel sagt, wenn jemand unwissend sein möchte, lass ihm unwissend sein. This very book that I hold in my hand is what God is going to use in heaven to judge your soul. Die Bibel sagt, das Buch, was ich hier in meinen Händen habe, die Heilige Schrift von Luther, ist das Buchbare mit Gott, deine Seele, beim jüngsten Gericht richten soll. I advise you to open it before he opens it. Ich rate dich an, es zu öffnen, bevor er es öffnet, denn es zu spät ist. Because when God opens this book and shows you the lake of fire, it is far too late. Das heißt, wenn du vor Gott kommst aus die Hölle und dann, bevor du in den Feuersee geschmissen wirst, dieses Buch siehst, es ist zu spät, und du hast dein Anwalt und Heiland, Jesus Christus, abgelehnt. And many of you here today, you like to read, but how come you haven't opened one book, this one? Viele möchten gerne lesen, aber die meisten von euch haben nicht dieses Buch, die Heilige Schrift von Luther, mal geöffnet und studiert, bezüglich that, Seligkeit. That shows that you really don't want the truth, because you won't open the Bible and read it. Ich sage nur eine Sache, ihr möchtet die Wahrheit nicht wissen, weil dieses Buch ist die Wahrheit und zeigt die Wahrheit in Jesus Christus, der die Wahrheit ist. The Bible says that God has created us for his pleasure and his glory. Gott sagt, er hat euch geschaffen für sein Vergnügen. There's more to life than just eating, drinking and being merry. Es ist mehr in diesem Leben als nur Essen. Trinken und freudig sein. There's a God in heaven that wants to fellowship and wants to walk with you and he wants to live with you eternally. Gibt es Gott im Himmel, ist ein Sohn gegeben hat, weil er möchte mit dir wandeln, mit dir Umgang haben und Gemeinschaft pflegen, Tag für Tag. And I am with this, the Bible says, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Die Bibel sagt, es ist ganz einfach. Das Blut des Herrn Jesus Christus macht rein von allen Sünden. This is an uh, overview of the camp of um, the Nazis. And, uh, as you see, it's an oval shape where the SS barracks have been here. It's right here. And that's where you see the uh, SS Special Headquarters made after the Jesuit order. And uh, it was made in 37 to 45 to get rid of all the liberal Catholics, Jews, uh, Protestants in a Jewish Protestant Holocaust. And then after 1945, when the Nazis were taken down, this area up here was used where the Jesuits used a communistic uh, concentration. This is a communist concentration kept to get rid of another five years of Protestant pastors, German Protestant pastors, using the same concentration kept in Buchenwald. Uh, labor makes free. Here's the entrance of this uh, curse of Jesuit concentration camp. Two hundred are right now available in America. Uh, it has the uh, little 
roof in the form of a pyramid on it. That's all the watchtowers of the SS guards had it on them. Uh, I think 3,000 were serving here as SS guards between 37 and 45. And they killed many people there. I think hundreds of thousands were killed here. And only of these 3,000 SS guards, only I think 10 were killed. The rest got out free. And this whole SS thing was modeled after the Jesuit order. Once a year they had to go to the Wevelsburg, at least the high SS officers, be brainwashed with the special exercise of Francisco of Loyola. Uh, this is the oven in Auschwitz, where uh, Jews, Protestants, and Orthodox heretics, according to the Council of Trent, were offered to the goddess, were burnt offer. That's what the word Holocaust means. Here the sign, it says there. And this is the uh, entrance of this uh, cursed place where hundreds of thousands put in there and never came out. This is made after the uh, reductions in Paraguay, uh, where the Jesuits perfected their uh, concentration of uh, political incorrect people there. And here at the gate, but most people never got out, you see in German the words, Jeder das Sein. That means, are you safe? Everybody his own. Every, everybody deserves uh, his own. This is a typical way how the Jesuits think they have to deal with people who think different as nationalists or religiously they think differently. This is how they put them into barbed wire camps with the uh, tower there with machine guns on top of it and watchdogs, trained shepherds who turn anybody to pieces who wants to get out. And this is the uh, cemetery or the oven where they burned the bodies. And the uh, same barracks we'll see later, they killed a lot of officers, either like Roman Catholic nationalists or uh, Protestant Lutherans or liberal Roman Catholics uh, with the next shot completely against the Geneva Convention. In the back there, we see a little later the uh, concentration camp, the Jesuit Jews and the communists and the Russian occupation between 1945 and uh, 1950 to continue the rape and killing of Protestant Lutherans. And never forget, right now there are 200 of these camps ready to be operated, FEMA camps in the United States of America for the Protestant and liberal Americans. There is the view of the growing numbers of dead. The SS had a crematorium built in 1940 and extended in 1942. Uh, about 1,100 people were strangled in the corpse cellar. And again, there were uh, people who were burned here. The bodies were burned here. The strangle court put in the Jesuit SSO. This is the place where Mengele and others did uh, medical operations on live bodies. Right here. And this is uh, the instruments they used on law bodies, seeing how much pain they could endure. All these experiments were used later in America and in the brainwashing program called MK Ultra. This is a picture of uh, people who have commemorative stones uh, made by their deceased, made their people who followed up on them, who were murdered here by the uh, SS and the Nazis. Enemies of the state, Jewish, liberal Catholics, or Protestants, cursed according to the Council of Trent. This is the so called Holocaust, the burnt offerings uh, of people who went in dead or sometimes alive, but is burnt and the ashes just scattered. As you can see, it still can be very easily operated again today. This is this, what I call the strangle cell. More than 1,100 people were strangled here in this place and put in these hooks there. So they were, what I, what I say in the Jesuit oath, used the strangle cord to get rid of uh, your enemies. This is the place here. This is what they call the horse table. And this is how they killed over eight, the Jesuits killed over 8,000 Orthodox, mainly prisoners of war, officers who were treated well, should be treated well by the Geneva Convention. This is where their bodies were put in. And uh, they said, you know, officially, 
they had to be taken care of and measured. Uh, here, you see the measurement. So they had to be uh, almost naked standing, almost naked standing there, and officially by a doctor, and that should be measured up here. And you see there in the back, uh, this uh, uh, line where it's open, there was an SS officer with a, a gun, and with one neck shot, he would kill the um, uh, Orthodox civilian prisoner of war, uh, so he wouldn't waste too much ammunition on them. And here's the so-called uh, part of the doctor to make it look like the people really did a medical examination by just a bunch of humbug. Mass murder again, according to the Council of Trent. And here the, we got in and we were shot there. Right here. Right here, where he stands right here. He was shot with one bullet through the neck. And Bro, brother, you think they actually won? I wonder if they, that, that you know about all the work without any reason. That's how you destroy the morale of the people. They call this the stake in the car. It means of punishment and work. So you have to put stones on this thing, drive them to another place in the camp, put them away, and the same day, the evening, you pick the same stuff up and put it back here to destroy the morale of uh, the uh, prisoners. Now here are all the former barracks. It's the part used by the Russians later. But as you see, all the foundations are here. It can be built up in no time. That says, uh, more than 27,000 women and girls of over 30 countries, uh, 1944, 1945, were put in here as uh, prisoners in 27 barracks of the concentration camp Buchenwald to be slaves, forced slaves as a, a victim of the National Socialistic um, Power and their death marches. Now, I add to this, this is very consistent according to the Council of Trent, the Canon Law, and the Jesuit Oath. And if you don't know religious history, it doesn't make no sense at all. And since men don't get it, they're forced to repeat it. There are 200 of them now, right now, are called FEMA death camps in the United States of America to wipe out that cursed white Anglo Saxon Protestant Bible believing uh, race. And, um, if uh, Jesus Christ doesn't tarry, that's the future of a lot of our dear, beloved American brethren. In this area of Ettersberg, victims of the Soviet Special Camp No. 2 were anonymously buried. More than 7,000 camp inmates died between 1945 and 1950, particularly during the years 1947 and 1947. They perished mostly due to hunger and sickness. In the time of the German Democratic Republic, so Eastern Germany, the graves of the Special Camp 2 No. Uh, to remain unrecognizable. The dependents were denied a place of remembrance of the dead. After 98, the graves were marked with posts, a forest cemetery ensued. Now that's again, that's the same what happened there under the late Pope, uh, present Pope uh, Francis in Argentina. When he became provincial of the Jesuits in 1973, he ordered the uh, coup d'etat, the militaire junta, um, from 76 to 93, 83, and more than 30,000 enemies of Rome and the Jesuits disappeared and were killed anonymously in, had their graves in water, thrown out of planes. At the same time, between 1945 and 1948, uh, more than a million, some say uh, more than millions Germans, especially prisoners of war, uh, were killed by Eisenhower in Allied concentration camps in the west of Germany. Here's the place of the concentration camps in the Allied part and the Russian part uh, after 1945. So this is the Archipelago of Solzhenitsyn. You see there, here about uh, dozens and dozens of concentration camps still in operation, the same way they were made as the, the Nazi camps and according to the Jesuit reductions in Paraguay where they were perfected for hundreds of years. Crazy, man. This is the uh, prisons of war kept here in the former Soviet Union in all these uh, concentration camps. And <coughs> uh, there were three million prisons, German prisons of war kept uh, by Russia between 1945 and 1955-56. A million died. Two million had to work for 10 years completely against the Geneva Convention. 
their uh, main crime being a Protestant German, connected with the German Reformation of Martin Luther. But that's not all. Look at here, the Soviet prisoners of war between 1945 and 1941 and 45 in the German Empire, about 5.7 million Soviet prisoners of war were in German hands and about 4 million were killed and died in German prison and uh, about 2 million came back or were killed after they came back by Stalin. Revenge that we call the Orthodox Holocaust and the Protestant German Holocaust above Rome. Liebe Leute hier in Deutschland, you should be grateful to the Lord that he gave you the Holy Bible by Martin Luther. Ich hoffe, ihr seid sehr dankbar, dass Gott dir die Heilige Schrift von Martin Luther gegeben hat. There is no other book in the entire world that tells you what you have to be saved from heaven. Das Buch, was Gott euch geschenkt hat, zu zeigen, wie man in den Himmel kommt. The major reason why people don't want to get saved is because of sin. Der wichtigste Grund, warum Leute sich nicht retten lassen, ist wegen Sünde. The Bible says in Romans 3:10, there is no one righteous, no not one. Die Bibel sagt ganz klar in der Schrift in Römer Kapitel 3 Vers 10, da ist keiner der gerecht ist, auch nicht einer. That means that we are all sinners guilty of breaking God's law. Das heißt, wir sind alle sündig und sündig am Brechen von Gottes Gesetz. The Bible also says that those who reject the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ spend eternity in hell. Die Bibel sagt auch, dass diejenigen, die das Evangelium der Gnade Gottes ablehnen, die Ewigkeit in die Hölle verbringen müssen. But God is merciful. God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. Gott ist sehr barmherzig und möchte nicht, dass jemandem in die Hölle geht. God provided remedy for your sin. Gott hat eine Lösung für eure Sünden dargestellt. God said, God says in the Gospel of John 3:16. Gott sagt in Johannes Kapitel 3 Vers 16 zu Ihnen persönlich. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Also hat Gott die Welt geliebt, dass er seinen einzig geborenen Sohn gegeben hat auch dass alle, die an ihn glauben, nicht verloren werden, sondern das ewige Leben haben. Die Bibel sagt ganz klar, dass Jesus Christus persönlich für ihre Sünden gestorben ist, begraben ist und nach drei Tagen wiederum auferstanden ist von den Toten. Das heißt, dass Gott ihnen die Freigabe der Rettung anbietet und es hat Gott seinen einzig geborenen Sohn gekostet, um ihre Sündenschuld zu vergeben. Keiner von uns verdient es, in einer vollkommenen, heiligen und reinen Himmel einzuziehen. Ich verdiene es nicht, um in den Himmel einzuziehen. Keine von meinen Brüdern und Schwestern verdient es, um in den Himmel einzuziehen. Ich bin nicht besser wie Sie, ich bin einfach ein retteter Sünder und glaube, dass durch Glaube an Jesus Christus, der meine Sündenschuld vergeben hat, durch sein Blut alleine, aufgrund von Glauben alleine, ohne Wirken des Gesetzes. Wir stehen hier als Erhältte Brüder und Schwestern in Christus und bitten eine Sache. Bitte überlegt euch, um die freie Gabe Gottes, das ewige Leben in Jesus Christus, umsonst aufzunehmen in ihrem Herzen. Rettung ist nur zu finden in einer Person. Glauben an den Herrn Jesus Christus. Er starb am Kreuz für unsere Sünden nach der Schrift. Er ist begraben und am dritten Tage wiederum auferstanden von den Toten. Die Bibel 
1 in Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Die Bibel sagt ganz klar, wie man errettet wird in Epheser Kapitel 2, Vers 8 und 9. Die Bibel sagt, denn aus Gnade seid ihr selig worden durch den Glauben und dasselbe nicht aus euch. Gottes Gabe ist es, nicht aus den Werken, auf das sich nicht ein Mensch rühme. Ich habe einen wunderbaren Retter und Heiland und alle meine Sünden sind bedeckt und vergeben durch das Blut von Gottes Sohn, den Herrn Jesus Christus. Ich möchte euch einfach warnen, wenn ihr euch nicht bekehrt, glaubt an den Herrn Jesus Christus, müsst ihr selber für eure Sünden zahlen, wenn ihr sterbt in eurer Sünde in einem Ort, was die Bibel Hölle nennt. Would you like to receive Christ as your Savior now? Möchtet ihr heute und nun jetzt auf die Stelle den Herrn Jesus Christus aufnehmen als euren persönlichen Heiland und Retter? Salvation doesn't depend on how good you are. Rettung nach der Schrift ist nicht abhängig, wie gut oder wie schlecht du bist. Salvation depends only on one thing, whether you accept or whether you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. Rettung ist nur abhängig von einer Sache, ob du Jesus Christus aufnimmst im Glaube oder ablehnt im Unglauben. Amen. Oh, Yeah.